Okay, this is the Queen Battle of Battle First Responder Services here in Boston, Massachusetts at Northeastern University. Very happy to be here. I'm talking to you guys on my YouTube platform as well as to my social media platform on the internet. The internet is great, but eventually I will have more public discussions about what is going on in the world uh, with uh, COVID-19, with um, Afghanistan, the the, uh, hum the crisis in Afghanistan, as well as what is going on here and here in the United States, as personally for my life. So I'm gonna make this a quick video because I got a lot more to go to go to go over with, and then let you guys know who I am and what I do. So my name is Queen. I'm a medical assistant, first aid responder, adult pediatric first aid for the American Heart Association. I'm very happy to be here in Boston. Um, the title of my video is called, You Didn't Tell Me You Were Coming. You Didn't Tell Me You Were Coming. So um, I want to uh, pretty much address this issue. Um, as you know, the last two videos I did today on Sunday, today is Sunday, August 22nd. Right now, the time is 6.19 p.m. Um, I want to address this issue. You didn't tell me you were coming because it also has to do with my first video that I made today, which was uh, talking about someone calling you out on an issue, okay, versus versus someone having council culture on you. And council culture, it could not just, somebody calling you out, it could be in, just between you and that person. But council culture is between yourself as well as everybody in your network that is involved. And so what I'm trying to address is, is that you didn't tell me you were coming. Usually people are, they have their they their own lives or um, they are concerned about you or they pretty much want to know uh, the reason behind, the action behind what you want to do. And so lately, probably about June and July, I went through this issue where I had a couple family members tell me over and over and over, over and over again, "Look, Queen, you didn't tell us you were coming. Look, Queen, you didn't tell us you were coming." Well, I did, and I notified you ahead of time, and still you refused to accept it. And when I showed up in in my hometown, in my home state, you still refused to accept me. Okay, you refuse to accept me, and if you refuse to allow me back, and you refuse to accept, to refuse to have me, um, to have me, to accept me. And so, what I'm trying to do is, um, I'm trying to uh, get across the point where um, family sometimes is has. Uh, they are trying to pretty much not deal with a particular issue at that moment in time. Or you can have friends that are involved in your life, or you can have the community that's involved with your life, other issues as well, where people, they, uh, they are trying to address an issue, are trying to address a behavior. At the same time, if it is, um, if it is how you say, if they are trying to, uh, like, do a, address an issue or address a concern, they would get you motivated to change that behavior. But that behavior is not changing, okay? Or that behavior is not, that the, the way they go about it is not in a positive light or a positive tone. And so usually, if family chooses not to accept you in their life, if family doesn't want to have you in their life, then most of the time, that is an issue. It's either a legal issue that is involved with it, or it is um, some kind of um, community involvement in, in, around the issue. Okay, and so I'm really trying to figure out, like, does my family not want me in their lives anymore because this is my immediate family? Or what is going on in this situation that I cannot go back to the home of my family members, the home of my loved ones, dealing with people choosing not to accept me back in, back into their lives? So it's a really big issue that needs to be addressed, okay? My family doesn't accept me. The society that I live with doesn't accept me, as well as the community and network that I live with doesn't accept me. So we don't want you here. We don't want you around us. We don't want you involved. And so it just, it's a lot, it's a lot. So I'm here talking to you, the computer, and I have two other guys beside me that are also talking to as well, having a conversation right there. And then I also have a young lady who's also working on the computer right here too as well. So, you know, so you can have a, personal a, a personal one-on-one between you and yourself 
or you can have a personal relationship between you and another person but whether or not you have a relationship or not or whether it's between you and the internet or you and social media or it's between you and your physical family members okay whether it's a personal relationship or whether it's a physical relationship you still have the availability to accept that person into your life and usually years after years after years if a situation does not change or if an issue is not addressed okay then that leaves a burden behind you and your family members involved okay it leaves a burden Okay? And if that burden is not addressed, if that burden is not fixed, then usually most of the time, if it's not fixed between you and your family members or you and your loved ones involved, then other people get involved in that issue too. And then the issue gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And most of the time, it has a lot to do with council culture or it could just be between you and your family. And then the issue gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And so everybody that you're involved with, every issue that you change, it, it just, it doesn't change. Your life does not change. Or it could be between people that want you fixed in that characterization of who they think you are. So people, what you set into that personality, are set into that lifestyle, are set into this persona of who they think you are or who they want you to be. Okay, people want to believe you, want to believe who you are, and they want to stay and stay fixed in, or stay fixed in this some kind of belief system that you are who you are, and that you will never change of who they believe you to be, okay? But what I'm trying to get across is that whether I am who I am, or whether you are who you are, it doesn't change. It does not change, okay? I am who I am. You are my family members, you are my community network, you are my loved ones, and so I want you to accept me for who I am. So I don't necessarily have to physically tell you who I am, I don't necessarily have to emotionally tell you, you are my family members, you are my loved ones, you should accept me who I am, and should it have me to be involved with you, okay? So why is the situation different for me than it is for other people involved too as well, okay? So it's a, it's a big, huge issue. I really don't understand. It is sometimes it has to do with hate. People don't like you; they hate you, and so they want to make to, to stick to to remain fixed in this some kind of belief system that you are who you are, and that you will never change of who they want you to be. You are my world, okay? I am your world, and I you are part of my world, and you can never leave me. So it also has to do with domestic violence as well as okay as well as domestic violence physical violence emotional abuse any kind of system in your life that does not change so people they refuse to change their belief system about who you are and what they want you to be at the same time they're like well you should ask well you should ask i don't have to ask who i am i don't have to ask for you to accept me back into your home this is not a journal. I'm not journaling to you. This is reality. This is who I am. It's not a journal. This is the real thing. This is reality. This is life. This is life for, for me as well as for other people involved. Okay? This is not a journal. This is the real deal. This is the real thing. For, for your, so for your family not to choose to accept you, that is an issue. And yes, it can be a legal issue. Okay? It could be... It, legal and politics involved in as well as just your community network and your community system and sometimes especially when the issue comes to domestic violence or when the issue comes to physical abuse sexual abuse emotional abuse then that situation also turns into well you're the only friend i've got or i'm the only friend you've got and nothing will change into your life until you accept me and you cannot run from me you cannot run from me You cannot run from me. You cannot run from the situation. You cannot run from it. You cannot run from me. I'm the only friend you have and you will ever have. And don't try to run away. Or I'm the only friend you will ever need. And if you try to leave me, then everybody in your life will think you're crazy. And I've been told that over and over constantly in my life because I've also been involved in situations where it has been domestic violence, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, and physical abuse too. Growing up, as a young girl versus the adult woman that I am today. 
So I do understand domestic violence as well as just a lot of verbal and emotional abuse, how it works. You have to study, you have to read the books, okay? You have to read the books, you have to read the case studies. It's a lot, it's a lot in the case studies. The case studies, you have to read it, okay? It's been published, it's been it's been peer reviewed. People go through this go through these. And then you're in groups, you're in group studies, people go through this. It's been proven and tested, okay? And a lot of the time emotional abuse begins within the family member that found the likelihood, that found the link set. And if emotional abuse does not change in your life, then it develops and it grows as a seed. And then every other kind of relationship that you're involved with, that behavior starts to set in itself again. It starts to expose itself. And you go through the same emotional abuse in every single relationship that you're part of. Because you you have not dealt with or because that situation that you've dealt with in the past has not resolved itself. Okay, it has not resolved. So it can be money motivated. Yes, money motivation is a factor. Okay, or it could be family related. It could be children related. It could be a legal issue. Okay, whatever it is involved, you have to change it immediately. So, I, I, you know, usually when people tell you, you didn't tell me you were coming, that either means that they don't want you there or they weren't aware of when you were coming or sometimes it even gets to the fact where you literally have to make a public announcement a public announcement okay to let your family know that you are coming from a different region where they want other people to know that you're coming so that they can best protect themselves from you that's how I feel sometimes okay why do I have to make a public announcement to talk to my personal family it gets really, really, I get really upset about it sometimes. I try to figure out where is the separation between myself versus my loved ones. Where is the separation? How come I am separated between myself as well as my loved ones? Or it could be a group of friends within the city that you're in. Okay? And you're trying to figure out, like, I, I saw this friend just a week ago. How come they're not responding to my phone calls or my messages? Oh, I saw them at the library, and they didn't say anything to me. I saw them at the mall, I saw them in the street, and they didn't say anything to me. And now all of a sudden I see this friend, and now this friend has a security guard around them everywhere they go when they come up to me. So it's, it's a, a lot more involved in it than that. So you really have to address the situation and figure out, like, how do you get... It? When does it become a... a emotional issue a family issue versus when it becomes a public issue so i really have to address it i know i want to get your opinions i want to get your thoughts on this issue about how you, about why when someone tells you you didn't tell me you were coming okay so please send me your thoughts concerns to battle first aid at icloud.com okay b-a-t-t-l-e the number one s-t-a-i-d at icloud.com this is the queen battle of battle first aid responder services here in boston and please send me comments about when someone tells you you didn't tell me you were coming all right love you guys